Tulsa City leaders are getting ready to hold another news conference in less than 30 minutes at 530. This morning, they were really transparent, letting everybody know some people could be without power until Monday night because of the extensive damage. Fox 23's Rick Marinon is live at Tulsa City Hall waiting for that news conference. And Rick, I know you went out and saw some of the damage around Tulsa for yourself. And there's Stephen damage here in downtown. These buildings did not act as a shield. In fact, we've all got the little stuff. You can even see the big trees that are still snapped right in front of City Hall. There, they are the mature tall ones that were also just victims to this wind. But what we have seen out here is a lot of people are looking for food because the power is out everywhere. And so areas that do have electricity, that is where people are flocking to food right now. They're not doing looky-loos. They're looking for something to eat. There's gas lines all over the city. When I talk about gas lines, I'm talking about lines at QT, not natural gas. But take a look at some video. Some of this is even from my own house where my tree fell onto my neighbors. Uh, that was that was an interesting conversation this morning was, oh my gosh. But you, there are still lots of debris across the roads. The biggest issue was getting the main streets open again, and then they are going to start working their way into the neighborhoods as well as PSO. Those are the big concerns are the downed power lines, power poles, and the big chunks of trees. We have not heard any update as far as what to do with the green waste. Just get it at least out on the curb. And, and that is when we expect to ask them in about less than 30 minutes, what do we do with all of this stuff? Uh, because it has been a while since anything has happened. Let's take a listen to what the mayor said early this morning as just some of his early remarks comparing this damage. One of the things that makes this storm unique is uh, that we have seen and it's been recorded really tornado level winds that the speed and the velocity of wind that you would usually see with a tornado only this is spread out all across the city and we're seeing damage uh, that I think uh, when it's all said and done may not be quite as bad uh, as the 2000 uh, seven 2008 ice storm, but it's going to be close. We are going to head into City Hall. They are going to give us that update here at 530. If you don't have power, if you're watching at like a restaurant or something, or there's some information you want to relay to a loved one that doesn't have power, tell them to download the free Fox 23 News app. We plan on streaming that. They can also watch Fox 23 News at 9 and 10 through that app uh, later tonight when we get ready for those programs as well. So we will have that update for you on social media. If you do not have power, obviously the phones still work, but remember, you're also going to have to find a place to charge it if you start using your phone up too much as well. Reporting live in downtown, covering news that matters, I'm Rick Marin on Fox 23 News.